Gentlemen, welcome to Essential Style. Today we're taking a look at the Red Wing Work Chuckaboo. Let's check it out. All right, Red Wing Heritage Work Chuckaboo. Color is Briar Oil Slick. Really nice color. Got the three little metal eyelets right there. Nice triple stitching. A little bit roughed up right there. I don't really clean these that much. They're pretty low maintenance. So we've got the contrast stitching right there. When you first get this, this is usually more of a white. The other one got a little bit more scuffs. Um, this is the one I wear on my right foot, obviously. I usually put shoe trees in these wood things that just go in here. The reason I do that is not so much to prevent wrinkling, just to suck the moisture out because sometimes I have worn them multiple days in a row. And if you do that, the moisture just kind of collects inside and not a good thing to do. Leather insole. This rubber outsole is not as squishy as it looks. It's pretty firm, but the trade-off is it doesn't wear down that much. I've had these for about a year and a half. I got some pretty good wear on them. I'm not too crazy though. Now look at the other one. I strike my heel harder on my left side. So a couple of scuffs right there. All right. So the reason I bought these boots was I was wearing my Clark Desert boots a lot, but sometimes they're not the best in the rain and they don't have any arch support. It's just like walking, that boot is just like walking on a big gym mat. So I wanted to find something that was a little bit higher quality, a little bit more weather resistant, had a little bit better support for walking around all day. I landed on this. American made list price, I believe is 260. You can get them resold through Red Wing directly. This boot is constructed with a, it's called a Goodyear welt. And all that basically means is that the top of the boot, this leather is sewn, not glued, sewn directly to the lower part of the boot. And it's 360 degrees. That just means that it's sewn all the way around. Some of them end right here. They call it a 270 degrees. Goodyear welt, these are 360. Very, very high quality boot. A few things I really like about this boot is just that it's how low maintenance it is. I haven't done anything in the ways of conditioning or polishing these in a couple of months, and they hold on to their own, really. They, they hold up. I think I've heard Red Wings boots are referred to as being tough as nails. I can say it is true. I do appreciate that when it's raining outside, my feet don't get soaked instantly in these. This is a very tough outsole. If you step on a rock or anything like that, it's not going to feel like it's poking the bottom of your foot. So very rigid, very tough, very durable shoe. I also like that the more beat up they look, the better they look. I think that just gives it some character. The sun has come out now and I'm glad it did because the color is something else that is just, it's freaking awesome on these boots. I'm telling you, that's probably one of the things I really enjoy. It's this burgundy-ish brownish. These scratches come up as like a light brown, almost tan. It just makes it look really good. And you can see that leather is kind of shiny. That's usually where my pants sit. I suppose it kind of gets polished just as I'm walking and my pants are rubbing on it. Overall, really nice looking boot. It comes with these laces. These laces are pretty heavy duty. They're a little stiff at first. So let's take one out, show you guys. All right, not lined at all. Got a nice leather insole in there. Genuine leather insole, red wing shoes. And with that leather insole that these boots have, when you first get the boot, it's gonna be very flat, but as time goes on, your foot's gonna compress the leather insole and it's almost gonna make a custom imprint of your foot. Kind of like wearing a custom orthotic, not 100%, but same basic idea. If I put my hand in here, I can actually feel where the ball of my foot usually sits and where the toe of my foot usually sits on the insole itself. So that's one thing that's really nice about having a leather insole. It does conform to the shape of your foot and it just becomes more and more comfortable the more you wear them. Great boot, pretty weather resistant. They're not water resistant, but if you're like most people, you're just walking from the house to the car, you're only walking outside for a couple of minutes, these should be fine. Your feet aren't gonna get too wet. Great hiking boot, great walking boot, very durable, like I mentioned. Now on to some of the things that I don't like or some of the things that I'm a little bit unsure of. This boot, I think, has a little bit of an identity crisis going on. It's a chukka boot, and the leather is dressy. If It's dressy, but casual at the same time. It depends on what angle you look at them from. 
aerial view, if you're wearing it, you can see that the Red Wing is a little bit more tapered, whereas the Clark's is more of a boxy round toe. From this angle though, the Clark seems sleeker. From this angle, Clark seems sleeker. The Red Wing seem to have more of a roundish, old school work boot type aesthetic. They are heritage boots and they are modeled after the old school work boots, so that's kind of what they're going for. One other thing too that a lot of people talk about about Red Wing heritage boots is the break-in process. So these are an 11 and a half, my Clark's are an 11, Vans are 12, dress shoes 11 and a half. So on average, I'm an 11 and a half. 11 and a half felt good, 12 felt a little bit too big. And I have to say, these were one of the most confusing shoes to break in. It started, it was tight around here, but the rest of the foot felt good. Once it loosened up around here, my foot started sliding forward and I had to tie it tighter here. Tying it tighter here would hurt the top of my foot. But then the next day I would loosen them up here and it felt great. After I was wearing these for about three months, it started to feel tight around here again because I started to wear thicker socks. As time went on, it loosened up again. It really depends on how tight or how loose I tie right here. Now I'm at the point where they fit pretty good, but if I have a new pair of socks and if I don't tie them too tight, as I'm walking, my foot slides back and forth and my foot can actually slide and bump the front of the shoe, which I really don't like. And I think a lot of that has to do with that leather insole being very smooth. You have one of two options. Leave it loose so that it feels good, but your foot's slamming against the front of the shoe constantly or leave it too tight and then it hurts right here. I don't think that that's the shoe's fault. I think that that's just the design of the chucka boot. To cure that really would just be get an actual boot a little bit higher that has a couple of more eyelets. It's very heavy for a chucka boot and it just makes them feel very clunky. They don't really work with your foot. They're very, very stiff, which depending on if you like that type of thing, it's great. I like stiff shoes, but I also like really flexible shoes too. So that's really it. It's a bit of an identity crisis. So going back in time, knowing what I know now about these boots, had I never bought them in the first place, I'm not so sure if I would buy them again. I think that I would look at other options. Red Wing has the mock toe in the same leather. I really like this leather. That is really something I really enjoy. I really enjoy these metal eyelets too. I think especially at nighttime, it just kind of makes the boot pop. This leather called Briar Oil Slick is available on other Red Wing Heritage boots not just the work chukka. I just picked the chukka because I felt like it would be a good summer shoe and winter shoe. The difference between a chukka boot and another boot is only like a couple of inches. So as long as it's online, it's, you're not wearing super thick socks. I don't think anyone would have any problems wearing these in the summertime. Next time, I'd probably just go straight to the Red Wing Iron Ranger or the Mock Toe. Or if I wanted something that was a little bit more weather resistant, I would just look at other options. Like there's a pair of Echoes that I've been looking at. Hefty price tag, but Hey, if it's comfortable and it lasts, that matters more. That's it. That's the Red Wing Heritage Work Chukka Boot in Briar Oil Slick. I think it's a pretty cool looking boot. Very nice boot, well constructed. Give it a shot. It is on Zappos.com. You can buy it direct from Red Wing Heritage as well. Just make sure that before you just commit to wearing it all the time, you understand that the nuances that come with wearing a heavy duty, stiff Chukka boot like this one. As long as you're okay with that, absolutely. I think this is a great boot. Me? Uh, still unsure. I don't know if it's really for me. Kind of leaving, left it with a big question mark. Some days I wear it and it's great. Some days I wear it and I, I don't like it. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.